Good evening everybody, hope you're all okay. Um, it's been a busy day here today, um, but I'm quite looking forward to sitting down to do a little bit of crafting. So um, I'm just going to wait to see if I can bring up my video on my screen and then we'll make a start. So if you're online and you're joining in, let me know you're there and I can wait for you for little bits if you're joining in at the time. Um, if you're just popping in, just have a little look at what's going on, that's also fine. Um, but say hi and then at least I know I've got some people watching, which is nice. So this morning um, I had eight lovely ladies on a Zoom um, making our new um, cards for this month for February um, using the Posted For You set. So these were the cards that we made. I'll show you those in a bit more detail in a minute. But this is the stamp set that we were using and also so the coordinating rectangular postage stamp punch as well. And the way that I'm running my coffee and cards at the moment is that um, each month I send out a kit in advance which contains all of the materials that you'll need to create the cards. You can choose to just take the kit, which has the bits and bobs that you need to make the cards, or you can choose to buy um, just the stamp set or just the punch, or you can buy the bundle, which is both. Um, and then on Monday morning, we get together on Zoom and we make the cards. So it uses the same, same stamp set for four weeks. Um, and then I'm repeating what I've done in the morning later on in the evening for anybody that's missed out that wasn't perhaps able to join us on zoom or for anyone else watching that might want to know what coffee and cards all about or if you want to have a go at making the cards yourself so today is week one um, of our new set that we've used um, and like i say this is the card that we're doing so this was my original card that i showed everybody um, and then this was my other version that I did. You'll see they're just a little bit different. I just changed where I put the sentiment on that. But I'm going to show you how to make that card. And I'm going to turn it the other way around and do a landscape version, I think, rather than um, a portrait version, just to change it up a bit and show you how you can do some different things that, you know, just a little bit of a different way of using the set. So we're going to start off with um, a piece of real red cardstock. And I'm just going to get my bone folder just to burnish the edge, give me a nice crisp fold. And then I'm going to pop that to the side for a minute because I don't need that. Um, and we're going to get the um, main base part stamped. So I'm using real red ink to go with that as well. Like I say, I'm going to have a go at doing it landscape this time. So I'm using um, a flower image, which is this one here. Um, there are three other images that you could use. And they all fit into the punch brilliantly. So it's a nice set that it works so well with that. So I'm just inking up my stamp. And then I'm going to start, because I'm going this way on my other one I knew I could get three um, layers of the flower in like fully almost but I'm not quite sure how this is going to work being landscape so I'm going to stamp my first one in what I think is the middle and then I'm going to make a line of those but each time I stamp them I'm going to turn my stamp around so I get an upside down one then I'm going to go back to the right way round and that one's going to end up going slightly off the edge. And then I'm going to go back the other way and turn it upside down again. Trying to keep them in a line if I can. And then this time this will get turned around this way. So I have a row now of the same flower image going 
the right way around and then upside down and so on so now I'm going to go and I'm going to stamp along this obviously my image isn't going to fit on completely but I'm still going to do the same I'm going to turn them turn them around so because that one was the right way around this one's going to go upside down and then next to that I'm going to go the right way around and then next to that I'm going to go upside down so hopefully you're getting the idea of how it's working but we're just creating that repeated pattern idea and if you accidentally go the wrong way around it doesn't really matter because I'll let you into a secret I did do that on one of my others earlier and you can't really tell it's fine <laughs> so that's got that line done so now I need to do the top line so again I'm going to go middle out and then the other way so that one was the right way round so I want this one upside down and then turn it again and then turn it again so actually we have to make more impressions by doing it like this. On my portrait version I didn't have to do quite so many images that I stamped. So and the last one is going to be the right way around. There we go. That's actually come out quite well. So if I just show you the difference against what I did before so you see this was my portrait version and I ended up with three rows with three flowers in each and then this is now going to be my landscape version so either way will work fine it's up to you which way you want to go for it really so the next thing we need to still use the um, red ink for is we're just going to cut out um, our um, next sentiment from the set which is this one here that says love on it I'm going to cut that one out with the postage stamp punch so we are going to stamp that in red again so just find that one stamp sorry not stamp punch that out so using the the punch I'm just gonna line that up in the middle now my bit of card is a little bit on the small side so I'm just going to show you a little thing that you can do if that happens if your card is a little bit too small and you're thinking, hang on a minute, I can't hold that in my punch. If you just put a post-it note on one side of the card, you can then put your card in and use that to help you hold it a little better. I've just readjusted it because it meant that where I put it, I couldn't move it down far enough. But now you'll see that I can get that perfectly in line and hold on to my post-it node instead of my piece of card and then when I'm happy I'm just going to punch it. Sometimes it might punch a bit of your post-it note out but that doesn't really matter. It just means you can't really use it again but that's not a problem really. So that's going to go on there. Then the next thing we need to do is we just need to stamp onto a piece of blue strip that we've got. So this is in Pool Party and I used the sentiment from the set which is Sending Love Your Way. So I just stamped that in black. So I'm just going to ink that up quickly. 
and then as you put it down if you just line up your card then you can use the grid lines either side to try and help you to get it straight I'm struggling to see a little bit because I've got a bit of glare from my lights on my block so it's a little easier to do when you are in daylight but I think that's come out okay there we go and then how that's going to work is then that that's going to be put over the top top of that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick my um, background on with Tombow so just a little bit of glue all the way around the edge not too close to the edge so it doesn't seep out and then I left myself a little bit more of a border on this than I usually do just because I wanted to see more of the red card really ah quick before I stick it down I've just realized I'm trying to do my portrait version <laughs> I need to do my landscape version saved hurrah that's the good thing about Tombow's if you don't press it down too quickly <laughs> you can take it off because it's repositionable until it begins to really dry so phew that was a close one <laughs> so there we go saved it so there we've got our landscape version then the little postage stamp goes on with glue as well so just again a little bit around the edge and then a squiggle in the middle and then if you want to try and make sure you line that up as well again if you just use the grid lines on your paper or if you've got um like a crafting mat or anything like that you can use the lines on there to help you or you could just do it by sight if you think that you can manage that so trying to get it central either side and top to bottom as well if we can and then finally we're going to pop our sentiment on and i'm just going to use dimensionals for that so just make sure you can see what I'm doing. So one on the end, another one on the end, and then two in the middle. Kind of does it so it doesn't sink down in the middle. It's one of those things sometimes you don't want to waste your dimensionals, but at the same time you don't want to be too frugal and then end up with your sentiment just collapses in the middle. So I tend to space them probably with like a centimetre in between each one. And then you can use obviously the lines on the card and the lines from your postage stamp um, to help you get this straight. Or you can again just look at the sides to help you with where to position that one. There we go. So I'm just going to finish it off with a few gems, just, um, just for a bit for extra interest. So I'm just going to put a few on. So odd numbers usually work well. I did actually only use two on my other one. But um, odd numbers do work well like an interior design they often suggest that as well and I'm using the basic rhinestone jewels which come in three different sizes so it's quite quite nice that you can can use a range of range of sizes so I've got three different sizes of gems on there. Oh, this one doesn't want to be caught. There we go. So there's 
so that is that card complete so if we just bring back the one that we had before so this was our original one where you'll see you've got portrait sentiment up near the top and actually I did it so that you could see top and bottom of um, the stamp there then this was the version I did this morning with the ladies which this is where I will give away my secret I moved the stamp to there because I accidentally put a flower the wrong way round in my pattern and then obviously sentiment across there and then tonight's version which is in landscape version with sentiments in the middle and a few more gems on there just to just to liven things up a little bit so three different ways with the same cardstock the same stamps um, and actually if you wanted to change it up even more you could do even more things like changing the ends of this sentiment or stamping in a different color on the background putting a ribbon on there are all sorts of extra things you could do just to change it up so just a quick recap of what we've used we've used real red cardstock for the base this cardstock is um i've got two different slightly different colors here petal pink and blushing bride and then same for the blue i've got some pool party some balmy blue and then some whisper white for the sentiment here the basic rhinestones and then i've used tombow blue and i've used our dimensionals our standard size dimensionals to put everything together and all of those are available to purchase through me if um, you are low on supplies or if you'd like to give this card a go and you'd like to get those things and then the final thing just to remind you of is the set that we used is posted for you um, and the rectangular postage stamp punch which are both available in the annual catalogue thank you for watching um, I hope you've enjoyed that and it will encourage you to have a go yourself. Um, and then next week I will be back with um, the second card in the same series using the same stamp, stamp set and punch, but a different card style completely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye.